Hello there everyone, this is Whisper Dreamers. I'm just testing out soft speaking right now and we'll do so by reading the reviews in uh, four books I've gathered together here. Just gonna jump right in here starting with the reviews of Peace Like a River, starting with the one on the cover page. Um, Peace Like a River serves as a reminder of why we read fiction to begin with. Andrew Rowe, San Francisco Chronicle. And then on the inside, praise for Peace Like a River. You don't see novels like this one very often. Peace Like a River reminds a reader of Kent Harris' Plain Song, or even Norman MacLean's A River Runs Through It. It's got that pure American loss of innocence theme, that belief in and fascination with miracles, that insistence on the goodness of men outside the law. Susan Salter Reynolds, Los Angeles Times Book Review. Book lovers inclined to complain that novelists don't write gripping yarns anymore would do well to pick up a copy of Peace Like a River, a compelling blend of traditional and artfully offbeat storytelling, a miracle well worth witnessing. Amanda Heller, The Boston Globe. The Lands are such a fascinating family that they could easily populate a memorable book even with no plot to speak of. Swede. Maybe literature's most unforgettable little girl since Scout in To Kill a Mockingbird. Gail Pennington, The St. Louis Post Dispatch. Uh, sorry, Post Dispatch. If you like a ripping good story told in robust prose that gives you goosebumps, latch onto this book. More than a novel of miracles, it is truly a miraculous novel. Valerie Ryan, The Seattle Times. There are miracles in this book of faith and family and place that come alive by the breathless climax. Karen Valby, Entertainment Weekly. Here is a world we want to know. Here is an author we can trust and who we are willing to follow anywhere. Anger strikes just the right balance of instinctive storytelling, narrative play, and pretty prose. He's the type of writer that other writers read and die a little. Peace Like a River is a book that serves to remind us why we read fiction to begin with, to commune with a vividly, lovingly rendered world, to lose ourselves in story and language and beauty, to savor what we don't want to end, yet no must. Andrew Rowe, San Francisco Chronicle. That's the first, uh, that's a continuation, the full thing of what was on the cover, I suppose. Didn't realize that. Anger has written a novel that that's boldly romantic and unabashedly appealing. A collage of legends from sources sacred and profane, from the Old Testament to the Old West, from the Gospels to police dramas, is a journey you simply must not miss. Ron Charles, The Christian Science Monitor. One of the most wondrous books I have read in recent years. If peace is reminiscent of anything, it's John Irving's A Prayer of Owen Meany. Another novel infused with transformative magic. What do I make of Peace Like a River? That something rare and precious, maybe even miraculous, has come this way. Has this way come, I bet. Uh, Polly Paddock, The Charlotte Observer. It's dangerous work writing about faith. To get it as right as Leif Inger does in his novel is nothing short of miraculous. What could be unbelievable becomes extraordinary in Inger's hands. If words can bolster lapsed faith, if a story can study, sturdy, a shaky foundation, then the flow of Inger's amazing new novel may bring more than a few of us to his promised peace. Connie Ogle, the Miami Herald. If ever there was a time for a novel of faith and redemption, a quiet book of old-fashioned verities, this is it. Written in lyrical, open-hearted prose, Peace Like a River even has a comforting, remarkable glimpse into the afterlife. Michael Giltz, New York Post. Leif Enger has written a great Midwestern, a debut novel that explores the limits of filial loyalty and inscribes the northern great plains on the reader's bones. Anger's people are tender-hearted stoics, played not for humor, but for something more raw. Garrison K. 
Taylor's characters in the hands of Russell Banks, Bruce Barco, or Barkett, I like Barco myself, outside, gripping, richly tustered, something in my throat, hold on, oh this is gonna, I'm gonna pause and just, sorry about that, I went ahead to clear my throat for a second there, gripping, richly textured, filled with sharp prose and vividly realized scenes. Peace like a river has the makings of that rarest commodity, the literate bestseller. Chris Waddington, the Monopolis Star Tribune. I don't think I'm going to be able to read all four of these like I thought I would. There's more in this book than I thought. I still have another page. It's double-sided, too. Let's continue. Even if you believe only in stirring, heart-thumping storytelling and sentences that sing, this book will work for you. If you're a devotee of boys' adventure books, bruised innocents confronting scoundrels round every bend, all the better. But what allows Peace Like a River to transcend any limitations of belief and genre is its broad, sagacious humanity. There's magic here, none more potent than Leif Enger's prose. Dan Cryer, Newsday. Outlaws and miracle workers take center stage in this tightly constructed lyrical novel. Of the many pleasures of this book are Reuben's conversational voice, the lovely prose, and the dead on evocation of place and time. Robin Henley, Chicago Tribune. The narrative picks up power and majesty, then thunders to a tragic yet joyous climax. Bella Standard, uh, Stander, People. Leif Enger may have unwittingly written the perfect book for an anxious time, a book of deep faith in faith, yet it is neither simple nor sentimental. It is the surest thing to a winner this fall, a book of great literary merit that nonetheless restores readers' faith in the kindness of stories. Marta Salige, Sally, sorry, I don't know that. S-A-L-I-J, Detroit Free Press, in his big-hearted debut novel, Leif Enger, spins a rich, old-fashioned yarn about brotherhood, faith, and family. It is a tale full of magical plot twists and supernatural flights of fancy. Enger's twinkle-eyed prose will coax even the most skeptical readers to suspend their disbelief we need to create in order to believe, Anger suggests. And if this wondrous book is any suggestion of its author's faith in the world, that belief is large and beautiful. John Freeman, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. A breathtaking standout debut novel, Anger's exceptional talent with language and character made his adventure, romance, and moral coming-of-age story one of the best novels I've read in a long time. A thing of beauty. Then Hart Net. Portsmouth Herald. One more page left. Hold, I can finish this in a minute. A beautiful story of a family searching for its fugitive sons. That son. That pulls out all the literary stunts and snares you in a few pages. Anger's great talent is evident in his deep knowledge of character and the way he so easily seduces us. We are putty in his hands. Gita Sharma Jensen, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. This is a stunning debut novel, one that sneaks up on you like a whisper and warms you like a quilt in Nor a North Dakota winter. A novel about faith, miracles, and family that is ultimately miraculous. Publishers Weekly, Starred Review. Written in prose, tart and crisp as a Minnesota autumn piece like a river, is seductive and deliciously American, and there are passages so wondrous and wise you'll want to claw yourself with pleasure. Frank McCourt. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna finish this. Once you be begin Leif Anger's Peace Like a River, you are carried away by the elemental surge of its story, the sheer eagerness to see what happens to the engrossing characters who exist far from the intrusions of the media in the timeless arena of family love and anguish over a lost member. It is Anger's gift that he has made the extraordinary world credible. Jim Harrison. Anger's limpid sentences 
are composed with the clarity and richness for which poets strive. Peace is an exceptionally heartfelt and moving tale about the resilience of family relationships when told through the prism of memory. Anger's profound understanding of human nature stands behind his compelling prose. Booklist starred review. Last one. A dazzling first novel. This poignant book is about family and sacrifice and the lengths to which people go to protect those they love. Peace Like a River has all the hallmarks of a lasting piece of fiction. Karen Glendening, Chattanooga Times, Free Press. And that is the last review of Peace Like a River. Well, hmm, it's on the front. Before in the back, and honestly, I can't tell at a glance if I read those in the, and they're not. Honestly, I, I don't remember. I assume so, and they just picked four to put in the back. Oh well, this will be it for now. I'll just title this one "Peace Like a River Reviews" or something. So, I hope that was relaxing. Let me know what you think of this soft speaking, and. Well, again, I hope you, it was relaxing. I hope things go well. Goodbye.